Hey, it's uh, March 4th today. <laughs> Welcome to our super short snowmobile season. It's pretty much another year of uh, snow then melt and snow then melts. Uh, a couple of months ago, we got a pretty good dump. It looked good. We finally got our first significant snowfall here uh, just about a week before Christmas. We did get some snow a few weeks ago, but it got mild again and melted, but it uh, looks like this is here to stay this time. I got out for an evening, basically uh, broke the belt in. Then all that melted and uh, it snowed again. I got out for an afternoon and then it looked like the season was over about two weeks ago. And uh, we just got another good dump of uh, probably eight or 10 in inches of snow here, I'd say. Well, they said, what, 23 centimeters? Do you like the eight or 10 inches? So that just uh, down that way is uh, where the cabin is, where we stayed where we made a video last year. So yeah, we're gonna head left here and uh, through it part way to Perth. And we'll head north and uh, towards uh, Clarendon Station, I think it is. All right.
was pretty rough through there. Oh yeah, very, a lot of work. Um, not that the groomers had anything to work with up to this point till today, but I'm sure they'll be out tonight and make all these trails better, but uh, I don't know how long it's going to last though. There is some more snow in the next eight or ten days in the forecast, but also some above zero temperatures, eh? So I don't think it's going to be too great for the rest of the year, but tomorrow would be a good day to get out, I think, for sure. A lot of trails still closed too because uh, all these creeks are soft and open. I've seen some pictures on Facebook of groomers going through the ice in a couple spots. So, what is it, minus three today? Like that, yeah. yeah, I'm hot. Like, I could drive without a jacket right now. And I didn't even dress that warm, so yeah, it's pretty mild for sure. So, if we go right, it's longer. If we go left, it's shorter, I believe. So, I'm gonna guess you prefer shorter. I'm thinking so, just with the all the whoops. Yeah. It's a, it's a really, it's a physical workout in the back here because I'm kind of trying to push up and then push with my feet so I'm not like slamming into you the whole time. People are definitely trying to get their miles on. Get your money worth out of your trail pass. Yeah, this is maybe 300 kilometers we have this year. How much are those passes now? $300. So a dollar kilometer so far this year with the weather we've had. <clears throat> it's getting harder and harder to justify owning one of these in central Ontario now, eh? Like, worse and worse each year. Well, if you sell it, you're, it's guaranteed the next winter will be like snow every weekend. That's why I haven't sold it yet. <laughs> That's what he said for two years now. I'm like, you're going to sell that thing and we're going to have like a 1984 winter here. Or actually, yeah, 1996 is one I can remember. I bought a snowmobile in October and there was already three feet of snow and it just pounded snow right through to March. So yeah, that was the best year of all time. 1996 in the Ottawa Valley. <laughs> 